Hello, my name is Scott Gassage with Haas Automation and we're here in the back of the Haas factory in our video production studio. We're getting ready to do a new video on the new Haas bar feeder, but I wanted to give you guys an early look at all the neat features this bar feeder has available. Come on, let's go check it out. Andrew, how are you? Good, good, Scott. So you've been installing this bar feeder today. How's that been going? Really well. It's just taking about an hour or so. To get the whole bar feeder into place? Whole bar feeder installed. What, uh, any new features that have jumped out at you that you really like? What I really like is when I need to move this out of the way to, to change a liner, for instance, all I do is push down here, give it a quick push, and it does the rest. Wow, so, so that's coming to rest on its own, like one of those high-end uh, kitchen cabinets that you'd find. Yeah, that's because it has a gas charge shock at either end of travel, controlling that. Either, so if I pull it back into place and let go, It'll come right to rest. Yeah, that's right. It latches right into position there. Wow, that is cool. So how does it go for changing liners? How does, looks like that's gonna make liner change out a whole lot easier. Yeah, super easy. In fact, that's what I was gonna do right now. Okay. Um, the transfer tray here is set up for this large diameter material. And I need to raise that up when, I, when I'm getting ready to feed this one inch diameter. But first, I need to change the liner. So we'll push the unit out of the way again, just like we did before. That gives me complete access to the liner. Now, are these using the same extruded liners that we've had in the past? Yeah, same liners as before on the older bar feeder. So the small liner inside of the bigger That's one? That's right. So I pull off this, this locking cap, and I pull out my liner. If you could hand me the one and three quarter. OK. This is pretty convenient. You've got all the liners right here on the front of the machine. Yeah, yeah. Now we don't have to go around the back of the machine to get them. They're just right at your, at your fingertips here. OK, there we go. Slide that in there. Put my locking collar back on there. Pull it back into position. Man, I really like that soft close feature. Yeah, that is locks neat. right into position. Ready okay. to go. Looks like now we're going to change the height of the transfer tray. I remember on the older bar feeder, we had to come back here, and you could still get to it easily, but you're so yeah, far, you're away. far away. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm right here, so I'm going to use my one inch bar to check my alignment. And we can see right now that it's low. So I'm just gonna crank this up until my bar's aligned. There we go, nice and aligned. So now that we've changed the liners over, looks like it's time to install one of the push rods. That's right, we're gonna install the larger of these two push rods. And what's really nice about these is that they're just a lot easier to put in place than the old version. I just insert this here, pop this bushing into place, Pull down that locking lever there and push it into place there and you're done. You know, one of the things I really like about this, no tools, no screws, no wrenches, nothing. Just ball detent holds that in place. Slide over here, out the whole piece comes. And then having the storage tray right up here. Fast, easy, quick. Get that machine back making chips as fast as we can. That's right. So another feature I really like are these stainless steel rails we have that allow that material to slide down nice and easy and ensure we always get a pickup and transfer. Now, one of the things that we can still do with this Haas bar feeder is have random length bars in here because with this optical sensor that measures each bar that comes by, you can load in the random lengths of the bar knowing that the machine will measure the bar as we go in. Let's go take a look at the interface. Yeah. So we have the same bar feed interface we've had for years, easy to use right here in the control. But tell us about these new icons we've added. Well, you can see right here, this icon is showing us that the door on the bar feeder is open. I come over here, I close it. Icon goes away. Now watch, if I move the, if I move the, the bar feeder out of position. Icon shows up and we get a message that the bar feeder's out of position. That's right, all at the control. So now pull it back into place. And the message goes away. Okay, so we've already talked about the easier to use Haas interface with the addition of those great icons. What about the speed? That's the big thing we improved. Can you show me a bar load and show us how fast this thing actually is? Let's do that right now. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so the shuttle's coming forward, making sure there's no bar on the transfer tray right now. Tracks. So it's loading the bar. Now it's checking position. Now, notice, now the optical sensor, this is when it's picking up the length of that bar. That's right. So 
Now it's loading the uh, push rod. Set my part, clamped it, retract, ready to go. So how do we get all that extra speed from the previous design? Well, if you remember, the old one was ball screw driven. And this one's driven with a, with a belt drive. So the servo motor's hooked right up to a belt that drives that shuttle all the way around. That's right. It's like seven times faster. No longer do we need to leave a push rod in the spindle liner if we wanted to have a quick push. We can retract back out, run up and push again. That's right. So there you have it. An early look at the new Haas bar feeder really focusing on Haas value, bringing you an easier to set up and use machine, a roll away feature to make change over the liners even easier, easier access to the liner storage, easier height adjustment, more improvements in the Haas control that still make it the easiest to set up and operate, control on the market, and speed. That speed of loading that bar, moving it, retracting it out of the way, faster than any of our previous versions. Haas value, that's what we're focusing on for you, the customer. Help you make parts faster so you can make money faster. Andrew, appreciate it. Thanks, Scott.